Hi, Ed Diaz here from Roland, and I'm here to show you how to create a sequence using the FA06 and FA08 workstation from Roland. So let's check it out. So first off, the, the FAs are organized with studio sets. Now within the studio sets, we can use those to play single sounds, layered and split sounds, or this is where we come to create our sequence or our song. So let's do that now. I'm just going to use the first example on here, which is the studio set preset 001 FA preview. Now there's some different presets in here for you to play with so you can try different things and layers and splits but also if you cursor, use my cursor right here, I can cursor to the user and there's 512 user studio sets that you can customize however you see fit. Alright so very easy to use. So let's go back and go back to FA preview right here. So first off to create a sequence I'm gonna press the sequence button which is right here. So this sequence button Right there, press that button. Now, as you see, there's already something there because this is a demo model. So I'm going to show you how to clear it out. Very easy. Now, we're going to use the shift button uh, throughout this, this uh, demonstration. So in the old days of Roland, you know, uh, you used to have to go menu, system, search, kind of see what's going on, find it. But, you know, years ago, we, we got smarter about this and tried to make it easier. So a lot of times if you press the shift button, another menu will come up saying, hey, these are what you're going to likely want to use. So hold it, press and hold shift and you see song utility. So I press song utility and you see I get these different options right here. So what I'm going to want to use right away is song clear. So clear out whatever is there. So press 7, select and are you sure? And this is done for historic purposes because that's back in the day with keyboards uh, before factory resets or the computers or the internet. When you did something on a keyboard, it was there to stay, okay? This is kind of crazy back in the old days. And some of us guys would lose some of some really cool things uh, because there, was, there wasn't presets. I mean, there wasn't users and there wasn't a screen that said, are you sure? So we would just uh, mess things up all the time. So yes, I am sure. So let's press 6, okay? Now you see I have a clear path to work with. Now, I can go through different sounds just by using my cursor buttons here, up and down, okay? And that's great. If you want to work that way, it's wonderful. Now, I'm going to show you a trick that I've been using for a couple of years now, and I like integrating my pads when I'm going through sounds, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So first off, I'm going to press my pad utility button right here in the very top, top left corner press that button and you see my screen changed and so I'm gonna go ahead and press number six which is corresponds to pad mode and press number six and you see I have these different options you know such as using the pads as numeric numbers a 10 key for like a lot of us old guys did uh, part select part mutes part solo so a lot of different stuff I'm gonna use part select so I'll press number two which corresponds to that great and now look what happens I can press the pads and it changes my sounds right here in different parts and I have 16 parts available 16 pads so this is really cool if I'm just want to keep the juices flowing and keep sequencing quickly so this is fun so first off let's go ahead and uh, maybe pick a sound and I'm just gonna use what's here okay okay I like the electric pianos the supernatural acoustic sounds such as the electric you know Great sound. I'm going to octave shift it down because I like that a little bit uh, lower myself. So have that there. Really nice. Now I need to decide the tempo. Now right here is where my tempo switch is. Got a nice knob right here. Now I can twist the knob or I can use a tap tempo button. Now what that means is I can go ahead and just tap it and it'll change for me. As you see, I'm tapping it and it's changing the tempo for me. So I can just kind of hum something in my head, hum something in my head and go boom, 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 boom. And I just figured out, hey, it's about 90. It's right around there. Okay, so that's cool. Put it at 90 if I want. Right around here. And I can hear the click. Boom. That'll work. So let's get this guy going. Let's, okay, so I have my. Okay, let's record. So I'm going to press the record button right here. My metronome comes on. Now I have some options right here. Let's take a look at some of these options. First off, I have different count-ins. So if I press the enter button, it's going to bring up the window so I can see I have one measure count-in, two measure count-ins, or weight notes. So you can use whichever one you want. Uh, personally, I like to use weight notes. So as soon as I touch the keyboard, it starts recording. So I'm going to use that. 
So as soon as I touch the keyboard or the pedal, it's going to start recording. Input quantize. Now what that does, when we use quantization, uh, we have the different tempo. And sometimes if we're a little bit off the tempo, we can tell the keyboard to automatically kind of scoot us in to that correct tempo. Now it's just going to move us uh, real lightly, uh, but so if you're really off on staying with the beat, you need to practice with the metronome, okay? You need to do that. Uh, also, so we have grid, so very precise. I also have a different shuffle, and I just turned it over. I have a different shuffle right here, and I can tell it what resolution. So I have it, uh, the resolution of 16th notes, but I can also use eighth notes when it's talking about shuffle. If I go to grid, I have a couple more options uh, all the way down to chord notes, up to 32nd notes if I want to get really crazy. So I'm gonna keep it on 16th notes. Uh, I have a loop switch what I can keep, that I can keep on, or off. You don't have to record in a loop, you can just record just like a big tape deck if you want to. Uh, for those of you that remember what tape is. So <laughs> loop length, if you want to use that, I can do the loop length as much or as little as I want. Uh, personally, I just do it two measures for our example, but you can do as much or as little as you want. It's, it's all good. So we're pretty much ready right here. And there's my tempo. It's set for weight note. Uh, I got my quantization on, so let's go ahead and record it. Three, four. Good, so right in there, pretty good tempo. Now here's something that's really nice. I can go ahead and press rehearsal and the keyboard's not recording. So now let's go ahead and look through some different sounds. I can say, let's look at the drums. Turn it back up. If I don't like those particular drums, I can come in very quickly and change to another drum. I like that. And so let's record that. So if I want, I can just press the record button, which will go solid. Or if I press the play button, it pops open the window so I can see what's going on. And I can just take rehearsal off this way. So either press rehearsal here or press it here, whichever way you like to work. So rehearsal is off. And let's record those drums very quickly. Great. So let's try and put another part, but I'm not going to do rehearsal. I'm not going to press it. Let's see what happens. Okay. Obviously, that's not good. And I need to figure out how to erase it. Very easy. Press the erase button. I can either erase the one wrong note at the particular time, or I can say, let's erase from here to here and erase that region, never having to get out of record. Very nice. So now that it's erased it all, let's go ahead and close, and I'll press rehearsal again. Now I want to close just so I can see, and maybe I'll find another sound. Maybe let's go ahead and do a bass sound. Now. I want to go ahead and look for another bass sound, maybe an electric bass, and maybe a compression, a bass with a compression on it. Good, sounds good. Let's record it. So I just press record. It's solid, which means it's recorded, and let's record. Very quickly record it. Awesome. So very quickly we recorded that track and remember we have 16 different MIDI tracks we can do. 16 and you can make them as long or as short as you want, change tempos, a lot of fun. Even integrate our samples in here. So that's cool. Now here comes the fun part of the FA06 is that a lot of times back in the old days of the keyboard workstation there comes a time when you need to share this with the band or put it in your computer. And this is where a lot of keyboard players, this is where a lot of us have disc and disc of old sequences or songs that are never going to see the light of day, okay? So this is how we fix that, okay? It, it, normally when we were sharing it and putting it in a DAW, we have to export it as a standard MIDI file. But what normally happens is I put my standard MIDI file inside my digital audio workstation. I have to MIDI the computer up with the keyboard. I have to play the file, but I have to solo all the tracks that are playing except for one. Record that track. That's recorded MIDI. Now I have to solo that, uh, mute that one, solo the next one. Everybody else is muted. So I have to keep on going down the line 
recording one by one, and that could take a while. And so it's kind of uh, not fun for us keyboard guys. So here's a fun way we can make it fun. Okay, so hold down the shift button again, go into song utility, and look down here. I have export song. This is something that I want you guys to really kind of uh, take into account here. So don't forget, we can still create a standard MIDI file so we can share this song with other people uh, via MIDI. That's fine. But we can also create a stereo mix of that sound. So I'll go ahead and tell it to create a stereo mix. So it's going to take all those tracks and create a left and right wave file very quickly. So I can say, all right, execute. So now it's executing. And it's just exporting that whole song as a stereo wave file, left and right. So now it's done on here. Now, even more important, let's go ahead and export it again. So shift, song utility. Let's export that song as a wave multitrack or audio stems. Now with audio stems, what can happen here is that now we, it's going to export each individual track as its own WAV file. Once we have these stems, we can take them out of our SD card, which is four gigs, by the way, right out of the box, four gigs. That's a lot to work with. So we can go ahead and take that and throw it inside our DAW, whatever DAW you prefer to use. It doesn't matter. At that point, just throw those WAV files in there, those stems, and you're set to go. So, so I went ahead and I pulled down, held down Shift, Song Utility, Export Song, Select, and I'm going to do create a wave multi-track. So select, and if I wanted to rename this, I could rename it here too, it's all good. Uh, and just press execute. And are you sure? Yes, I am. It's gonna create stems right here. And now look what's happening. So now it's just taking those individual tracks and creating individual audio stems for each track. You don't have to do anything. At this point, you should go and visit with your family, go get a cup of coffee, because you've been working on your masterpiece and you've been ignoring everyone else. So at this time, go ahead and say, hey, I want to spend time with you guys. So, but secretly, you're ex dropping down, exporting all your tracks to audio so you can throw them inside your doll. So it's doing that right now for me. Now, once that is completed, like I said before, you can go ahead and take that SD card out, throw it inside your doll, and continue creating your music with your doll. Now, you can also, once you do that, the FA0608 has a DAW controller. So you can hook this up via USB to your computer, and guess what? We have some different DAW control preferences, control maps in here for you. So we have some popular ones such as uh, Cubase, Logic, Sonar, but you can use whatever you want, and you can also create whatever user you want. So it doesn't matter what you have, it doesn't matter. So right away, when that's done, now you can use the keyboard to control your doll and further help you create your masterpiece. All right, so I hope this helps you take your time, have fun with creating music inside the FA06, FA08, and then export those audio stems and put them in your doll so that way you can buy more keyboards. All right, take care, thank you.